As a result of this section, you will be able to demonstrate how to use reports within the safety management system, understanding of audits and revisions of the ISM code. The following are to be reported from the vessel to the designated person according to the ISM code. Accidents, hazardous occurrences, non-conformities within the safety management system, suggested modifications and improvements to the safety management system. An accident is an undesired event that may result in injury or loss of life, harm or potential harm to the environment, major damage to the ship and machinery. A hazardous occurrence is an undesired event, which under slightly different circumstances could have resulted in injury or loss of life, harm or potential harm to the environment, major damage to the ship and machinery. A non-conformity is a deviation from requirements specified in the safety management system. If any procedure or instruction within the safety management system is found to be incorrect, or if the procedure or instruction should be changed due to changes in practical operation and or modification or rebuilding has been carried out on the vessel, a suggested modifications and improvement to the safety management system report shall be forwarded to the designated person. Match the correct report to send to the designated person for each case. It is of the utmost importance that not only accidents, but also near accidents are reported. The reason is obvious. Many of these injuries and accidents could have been avoided if near accidents had been reported. All personnel have to know that the safety management system is an alive system and the modifications can be introduced and new entries added. It is the responsibility of each individual, ashore and on board, to report to the appropriate officer or manager whenever any part in the safety management system has to be revised due to existing procedures and policies, or when instructions are inconsistent with reality. If any procedure or instruction within the safety management system is found to be incorrect, a report shall be forwarded to the designated person. The same action is required if the procedure or instruction should be altered due to changes in practical operation, or if a modification or a rebuilding has been carried out on the vessel. Then a suggested modifications and improvement to the safety management system document shall be made. All modifications or improvements to the safety management system manual shall be sent to the designated person. Urgent modifications or improvements shall be implemented as soon as possible. Suggested modifications or improvements deemed to be a matter of routine or a clerical matter and not urgent should be properly filed by the designated person when received and implemented on a biannual schedule. When the designated person receives the report, it shall be thoroughly reviewed and evaluated and if necessary, sent out for comments to all vessels before executing the change. An audit is a check to verify compliance with the ISM code. Both the offices and the vessels have to be audited. When passing the audit for the first time, the offices get a document of compliance and vessels get a safety management certificate. At regular intervals, both the vessels and officers will be audited to check that everybody is following the safety management system. The reviews are Onboard Review, Master's Review, Management Review. Click the Reviews for more information. All employees shall continually review the safety management system. The review, if not formal, shall serve as a continuous improvement process. The master shall formally review the safety management system at least once a year.
The master's review is to be conducted to ensure that the vessel is operating within the safety management system and that the procedures are realistic and suitable. Management reviews shall be conducted annually. The management review will ensure that the following items are carried out. A dynamic principle and quality aspect of the safety management system is the principle of continuous improvement. We should identify mistakes and learn from them in order to prevent reoccurrence. The diagram shown is an example of how the safety management system continuous improvement works.